Hi y'all, this is Charity from Frog Crochet, and our devotion today is life. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. What you see depends on where you stand. Take rainbows, for example. In order to see one, the sun has to be shining from a low angle at your back, and rain must be falling ahead of you. To see a rainbow, you must stand between the sunshine and the rainstorm. What you see depends on where you stand. This is true in the spiritual realm, too. Take Jesus' word of promise in John 10.10. 10. For example, here our Savior promises followers a precious gift of his amazing grace. He promises abundant life. Most of those who first heard this promise and believed it endured many hardships as a result, the Apostle John, who recorded this very promise, was banished by the emperor, exiled on the island of Patmos. Peter and Andrew were crucified for their allegiance to Jesus. Arguably even worse, tortures awaited many of the other disciples who heard and trusted the Lord's promises, a promise to give them abundant life. The Bible describes the death of many faithful martyrs down through the centuries. This text reflects the witness of God's Old Testament saints, but history shows that the words apply to the faithful throughout all ages. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better res resurrection, and others had trailed had tra trail of cruel mocking and scornings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were swain asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. Hebrews eleven thirty five through 37 If we align ourselves with the me, me, me culture all around us, we will see a contradiction between Jesus' promise and the experience of his followers. Surely suffering and martyrdom are not abundant life, or so we think. But what you see depends on where you stand. The bigger the raindrops, the bigger the colors in any particular rainbow. In all their hardships and even their deaths, the martyrs experienced the presence and the joy of their Lord, abundant life. Still today, we honor them for their witness. Still today, they honor Jesus by their lives and their deaths. Our prayer today is, Lord De Jesus, teach me to live a truly abundant life in witness to your amazing grace. Alrighty, that is our devotion for today. We will see you all later. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.